What is going on today guys? We are back for another episode in the leaderboard event. Now we did not get nearly as much done uh, as we did yesterday. We had a lot of breakdowns today. So far there's been uh, seven. Seven breakdowns. So I've replaced everything as you can see. We got uh, we have reinforced parts on everything that I have replaced so far. Um, one other thing to note is the duplex jigs are kind of bugged. Um, so, as you can see, we only have one bucket here. You can't place a second one there. But what's really funny is, let me actually grab a, a spare bucket here. Um, same goes for on here. Now, I do only have one duplex jig worker, but I can only put one bucket in each. There's no spot for a second bucket on either of them. No matter how I swap the workers. I've already tried to swap the workers, so. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, seems like there is a lot of bugs with this leaderboard, leaderboard event patch. So, a little bit disappointing, but, you know, I guess stuff happens. So, anyway, we're going to get cracking right into our triple here. Um, like I said, it's not... It's not as much as we wanted to, but with having to buy reinforced parts, we do need some extra cash. So, uh, we spent a little over 100000 uh on parts already. So, it's it's been a spendy one. Um, but then again, you know, the reinforced parts, like, hardly go out. So, there is that for the trade-off. So, anyway, this first bucket is, of course, our hog pan mats and... Another thing is my light keeps turning. I've noticed that with all the equipment. All the equipment keeps sliding. No matter what it is, it all has been sliding. And it's really, really getting annoying. Um, I've almost lost my dump truck into the hole. We're mining several times. Excavators sliding. My light trailers are sliding. And this damn thing isn't even on. <laughs> so, but yeah, there's just been... A lot of weird stuff so far that I've been noticing now. Um, you know, I guess it's kind of... There's a lot of buggy kind of stuff going around for everybody with the event, so... You know, it is what it is. Uh, they did a... A 4.7 gigabyte patch for the update. And... Yeah, it didn't really... Didn't really do too much good for us by the looks of it, unfortunately. So, uh, lots of bugs are back. I hope they're working on them. I hope they are actually uh, getting right into them and figuring out what is going on, getting them fixed right away. So far, there has not been an update since. So, I'm not sure. I, I'm assuming they, they've got to be working on it, of course. But, you know, like I said, there's no, no update that's been out yet. So, they haven't pushed out a fix but like I said you know they're working on it it's just a matter of you know how long is it going to take them to get the fix and all that sort of good stuff like that so anyway back to the clean out at hand this is looking about about normal I'll say um, you know the numbers seem to be about about similar to what we have been getting so again can't be disappointed but, uh, I was going to say something else. Um, no, I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, like I said, breakdowns, breakdowns have been a plenty. Uh, that seems a little low. 50 ounces of magnetite seems quite a bit on the, on the low side for a duplex jig bucket. Oh, I know why. Never mind. I know why. We had to cut through to the next uh, section, and I just decided to mine out the one tile that we weren't originally going to mine because it was, wasn't was that great of gold. Never mind. So, yeah, I know why these are so, I, are so low. Um, yeah, I just decided to mine through it because the tile right after that started our next big chunk. So, I can actually show you guys on the gold map here. Um, we are mining this chunk right here, so it would have been, um, 
it was actually this tile right here 164 was the was the low tile that I was just gonna skip but it started you know this big big section over there so I just figured you know what it's in the way we got we might as well just go through it mine it out uh, you know one clean out that's what we'll call it 10 ounces light just uh just to give a number I'm not sure exactly how how much less it's gonna have but we'll we'll just say it's 10 ounces just for the sake of making the point uh, you know a 10 ounce smaller clean out isn't gonna isn't gonna kill us for one clean out but it just makes it easier for mining the whole section that's there to take that one out but anyway three and a half ounces of gold a little bit low so that is exactly why we are getting numbers like that from these Again, not a big deal. Uh, I knew it was going to happen. So, you know, we'll just get through this one and then we'll be back through to the more more decent stuff again here. So, again, not not a huge problem, but we we at least know why why it's like that. So, overall, mining has been going pretty good, pretty smoothly. There's only one thing that I do wish uh, differently and that would be that I had a worker for the ex excavator and also I really want my mechanic uh, we are working on the process of switching everything over to reinforced parts so it's not you know like a crippling issue at the moment but once we get our reinforced parts we are not going to want to have breakdowns we are going to want to have mechanics to uh, make sure that our parts stay stay in working order for us so we don't have the downtime from that oh oh i do remember what i was going to mention amidst all the breakdowns a bear attacked the claim took out a cable and injured a worker at the same time so and you know it just so happened that it was my uh uh what do you call it the the mats the tdj sluice box worker so it's like yeah you know, pick my best worker to take out one of the one of the more important ones until we get a mechanic. Like, yeah, that was absolutely perfect. No, not really. That was I was a little bit little bit disappointed with that. It's like, come on, you could have picked any other worker, any other worker, and that'd have been that'd have been well. Obviously, it's not great, but you know, it would have been a lot better. But yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. I missed all the breakdowns. We also had had that added in there. So now another reason for the clean out is again we have more parts to replace yet. I have not bought all of them. Uh, I did buy a couple extra parts that I know are going to be going out here soon. So I went into town. I bought the four four reinforced pumps. I bought the uh, let's see what all broke down. The four pumps, uh, the trommel chain, the shaker hose and one other thing I don't remember what the other thing was uh, right offhand but so we got all that I also bought two springs for the shaker and I bought the six rollers for the trauma while while I was in there so that all costed uh, a bit over a hundred thousand dollars so that's where a lot of our money went so yeah it's a bit expensive but at the same time it's well worth moving on to reinforce parts like that because then you know less frequent breakdowns especially if you're not having the luck of getting mechanics uh, once you do get mechanics reinforced parts are are great because then the mechanics don't have to work on the stuff nearly as often and you have less of a chance of having the breakdown because they get to repair it so like I said I was going right to reinforce parts this time we're not messing around with the crappy regular parts because I'm not not swapping parts every you know 8 to 8 to 12 clean outs so I wanted to get right to reinforce parts get it over with get that money spent so we can basically spend the rest of the time that we're gonna be on this claim plus a bit of the next one without having to worry about any sort of breakdowns and hopefully by then like I said hopefully we get ourselves the the mechanic because then we really won't have to worry about it at all so here's the hoping because so far our luck with the 
with the workers has been pretty good. Like I said, we got both for the TDJ sluice boxes. Uh, we have one for the duplex jig. So three good workers right off the rip. We need one for the nugget trap. We need the other duplex jig worker. And most importantly, we need our manager. Or manager. Oh, God. Let's try that again. We need our mechanic. That sounds a lot better. But, anyway, like I said, the only other real worker I want, other than getting the other duplex jig worker, the nugget trap worker, is going to be, well, and the mechanic, obviously, but I want the excavator because the excavator hydraulics are absolutely turtle slow, and it, it's just killing me running that thing that slow. It really is. It kind of drives me, drives me a little bit nuts. Sorry for everything loading in so slow. I was playing around with, uh, playing around with my graphics settings, and I didn't turn them back up yet. Uh, I pushed the wrong button, didn't I? No, I pushed the right one. Okay, just got to make sure. Let's go see if we have a worker rate upgrade here before we head to town. Um, one of our hog pan workers should be close not the sluice box ones but the container ones okay so he's 39 and 36 so this is the guy that got attacked so like i said of course it just had to be the tdj sluice box worker but you know we have two now which is absolutely fantastic and again we have the one duplex jig worker so again it didn't matter if i swapped it to whichever one um you only get one bucket in both, which I have no idea. Uh, maybe when we get the next, uh, maybe when we get the next duplex jig worker, maybe we'll unlock that other slot. So anyway, let us get into town here. I kind of just wedged this, wedged this in here when I was fueling up the the excavator because I'm kind of in a goofy spot back here, uh, right along the edge. Get this thing turned, and we can back out. As you can see. The extra parts in the back of the truck here now uh, the springs and the rollers so I'm gonna pop them out quick uh, we are gonna grab our magnetite bucket and we're gonna go give that a dump and see what we get we should be able to get one upgrade um, I'm not sure which one but I know we'll be able to get one upgrade here so I'm going to get this stuff quick and I'll meet you guys at the magnetite facility in just a few minutes all right, guys, time to dump the magnetite in, give the handle a rip, and see what we ended up with. So, drop that in. Whoops, get off there. Give this a rip. And, all right, so we're up to 2661, so that should be just enough to get an upgrade, because I believe uh, the cheapest upgrade is like 2645. So, I'll meet you guys at the blacksmith here in just a quick minute, and we'll go take a look and see what we can get. Alright guys, here we are. We are at the blacksmith now. Let, let's take a look, see if we get lucky, and we can do an upgrade. So, okay, 2469. Okay, so I was a little bit off. I thought I thought it was 26 something, but uh, we're going to go with... Um, unfortunately, we can't get the gold bosses one yet, but we're going to go with the cost upgrade. So that'll again knock the cost down in half. So... Now instead of it costing, um, or no, it knocks it down, uh, knocks it down by what, is that a third? Sorry, not half, it knocks it down another third. So instead of it costing four grand-ish, it costs about twenty-six and a half. So that's, you know, that's quite a, quite a decent amount over time. I mean, it doesn't look big right now, but over time that does add up. And you never know when an extra thousand dollars is gonna be the difference between you know you making your uh, your rent payment for the day on the game or are you missing it. So you know I'll always take the extra thousand dollars or so. You know, but anyway, I think we can. Let's see. I'm gonna play it safe and just go with thirty percent of two ten. As number, obviously, I know we didn't get a 210 ounce clean out, but um, it was roughly. A, I'm just gonna use that as like my reference number. So anyway, 30% of 210 
is going to be 63 ounces so we need to make sure that we smelt down um, uh, 67 or less so we're just gonna go with 64 because that's where it landed uh, and we're gonna call that good enough so that'll leave us 66 left for the lease payment and obviously again you know that's gonna be more than enough to cover it but I like to make sure that I have enough there so they're not taking into my cash um, because there's no point in letting them take your cash you let them take your gold because otherwise you know if you let them take your cash you got to pay to smelt the gold down you lose gold when you smelt it and then you get the cash so it makes more sense to let them take the gold because regardless it's still costing you the same value the only difference is if you smelt down the gold you add the extra cost of you smelting down the gold and the losses for smelting it so you know if you guys are not aware of that uh, just a little just a little tip for you guys so now it's on to the bank and then we're going to stop by the equipment store and we're going to take a look at some more parts that I know we're going to need soon um, there's a couple of them that can wait for a little while for sure but there should be um, the buckets on the conveyor, I believe, should be should be going down here relatively soon, unfortunately. But um, that is something we'll need to get. So now the electric motors on like the the duplex jigs, those actually last a little while longer than the rest of the parts. So those aren't those aren't a problem right now those are around 50 percent yet um, let's see what else do we need I got the rollers and the chain for the trommel got the pumps already in the duplex jigs got the springs for the wash plant um, and the hydraulic hose we are going to need a fan belt for the conveyor hopper which honestly I've never really bought the part oh here it is so yeah, that's expensive. Very, very expensive, unfortunately. But if you buy a reinforced one, it lasts forever. So again, it's the cost of, you know, getting to the reinforced parts right away. And then you have these. So these aren't too bad. They're actually pretty cheap. These I'll probably just buy out on the claim because an extra 30% of, we'll call it three grand, is going to be about another, another 900 bucks onto there, not even. So it's only going to cost us, you know, it's only going to cost us less than 3600 extra for those, so it's not worth the time. Plus, they absolutely are a pain in the balls to get into the back of the truck. For how big they are, you would think you'd be able to get four of them in there easy. They stack in there like crap. Oh, <laughs> I absolutely hate them. I really do. Uh, these are the electric motors here. We could probably just get them to save ourselves the time. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I think we basically have everything else so might as well get them just because and then I believe that is with the exception of this and actually um, hydraulic hoses for the uh, really it's 24% off the regular but not the reinforced that's that's crap crap I say uh, we're gonna need I believe it's two for the excavator so we might as well get these while we're in town here as well but other than that I think that's pretty much it that's for the D rocker uh, I'm not gonna care about the truck wheel oh yeah piston wait a second there's no reinforced piston is there I didn't think there was I don't know why there isn't though they should have a reinforced piston these go out relatively often until you get a man or a manager Jesus let's try that again again um, those go out relatively often until you get a mechanic that's better good lord I don't know why I keep calling it a manager but anyway I'm not gonna worry about excavator track pieces um, teeth though Hmm. Yeah, I suppose we might as well, because we will be going through them. I have been hitting the ground a bit, so 
Other than that, I think that's it. That's going to basically cover all our reinforced parts for us now. So now we'll be able to start banking up money to get off this claim. Um, I do plan on being off this claim soon. Very soon. Uh, so again, 86000 for this, plus it's going to cost us, you know, what? Uh, so it's going to be a $100,000 uh, bill again to to get all our reinforced parts but at the same time you know i i feel personally this is well worth the investment especially uh when you don't have a mechanic and even if you do have a mechanic one mechanic's not going to be able to keep up with all the regular parts going out on a on a full wash plant there's just no way eventually you're going to have breakdowns anyway so you know you might with reinforced parts you could get away with only having a couple couple uh mechanics I didn't say manager this time, uh, but you know, I feel it's well worth having them because it just, like I said, now we'll be able to just make our bank and get off this claim. Um, let's see, five days to summer. I'm going to say we're going to be off this claim before the end of summer. That should be, that shouldn't be hard to achieve, I don't think. Um, before we, before we end the video, I want to do a couple things. The first is I want to go to the bank and see how much we got left on our loan. If our loan's cheap enough, I just want to pay it off, get it done with, because then we're only paying the 20 grand rent cost. So let's get this done. If we can, I don't know how much is left. It should be like five payments. Four. So 60,000. Let's pay it off, because then it's done. Don't have to worry about it anymore. And like I said, that leaves us with about twenty grand a day in expenses. So, plus mechanic or plus mechanic. Good lord! Now I can finally say mechanic. Plus workers. Good lord! Can't even talk today. Uh, one other thing before we go, I just wanted to give a big thank you. Uh, now I'm not going to mention your name in case you don't want it mentioned in the video. But uh, one of the channel supporters was very kind. He offered to buy the uh, DLC pack for the expansion for us. So we got that now in the off season after this leaderboard event is done. We will be working with all the DLC equipment now. So a big thank you. Uh, that was a huge, huge generous offer. So I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for that. Um, like I said, so in the off season, we're going to go and get everything from that set up and we're going to be playing around with uh, with the new DLC equipment so we'll get to test all like the Franks and you know everything else from the DLC pack for that so again thank you very much I really do appreciate that from the bottom of my heart so yeah that's gonna do it for this video uh, hope you guys are enjoying these videos um, one last thing check the leaderboard here now we are not keeping up uh, perfectly on the leaderboard but you know we're still doing good we're in fifth place um you know i don't consider that bad at all considering you know and especially with this weekend this weekend is going to be a very busy weekend the weather is going to be beautiful here for once uh it's not going to be cold the snow is starting to melt so tomorrow is supposed to be almost 60 degrees here which is huge for us in march in wisconsin um so it's going to be a beautiful day to get stuff done outside. So I'll probably be busy most of most of the day getting stuff done. So we're going to fall behind a bit. But we w we can catch back up. Um, it's not going to take much. Uh, like I said, it only takes me about half an hour to get a clean out done. So, you know, this triple is only an hour and a half of my day to get that done. Plus the time to make the video. So it really doesn't take long at all. Um, and again, you know... Even at a six, we'll call it just for, for, uh, let's actually check. But I was going to say we'll call it a 600 ounce deficit, which is close enough. Uh, but even at 600 ounces, if we're averaging 60 per, per clean out, you know, that's 10 clean outs we're down by. So that's not, that's not a huge, uh, huge deficit right now. Especially considering now we have all our reinforced parts and we won't have to worry about breakdowns. Uh, I don't need a. I don't need parts for the water pump right now. That thing lasts forever. 
Uh, we'll have the water tower long before that thing ever goes out. Um, yeah, so 10 cleanouts, that's 5 hours. Uh, 5 hours is easy enough to make up depending on how much that guy is actually playing. So, and especially considering it's not going to be too long now before we are on to the next claim. Like I said, I would say well before fall we'll be off this claim. I'm not going to, uh, if we can, I'm not going to worry about getting the water tower on this claim. So if we are able to make enough money before we need it, which I don't think we're going to, I think we're going to cut it just a little bit too short. We'll probably need the water tower uh, for a few days on this claim anyway. But if it's possible, I want to sneak out of this claim before we need the water tower. But I don't think that's possible. I think we're going to be a little bit short on that. But that's not a huge deal, like I said. Uh, we'll get the water tower put up last day of spring if there's no possible way we're going to get off the claim. So it's not a huge deal there either. But again, thank you guys so much for being here. I'm going to quit babbling now so I can get back to work. I um, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I really do. If you guys are enjoying them, make sure you guys take a minute to smash that like button. Comment down below. Make sure you thank, say a big thank you to to the lovely person that supported the supported our YouTube channel in such a way um, again from me personally it's a you know it's a huge uh, it's a huge thank you for me I mean I can't say it enough uh, any little bit like that helps and it's very much appreciated so like I said huge thank you from me and huge thank you from everybody who's going to be watching um, but you know, words can't express the thank you enough, you know, and it doesn't matter how big the gift is, you know, even if it's, you know, whatever, but it's, it's, it's still a huge thing. So thank you very much for that. Um, and as always, guys, if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you guys take the time to subscribe to the channel, trigger those notification bells so you guys never miss out on any of the videos. So again, thank you guys so much for being here and we'll catch you guys for the next video, which hopefully now that we have all our reinforced parts and stuff, we're going to take the time to start doing fives instead of triple cleanouts. So that's the plan anyway. We'll see if we can make it happen though. So catch you guys for the next video.